What's going on, Jerome? So your Minnesota Fine Vikings have a bona fide superstar in tight end TJ Hawkinson, who's top three in the league, and he might not be three. Uh, but with Hawkinson coming back from a torn ACL and MCL, the Vikings may need a little bit of depth and help at, at tight end, as Hawkinson's probably going to start on the pup, and they should... I just want to take it nice and slow with him at the start of the 2024 season. Now, earlier this week, they re-signed exclusive rights free agent tight end Nick Muse, a seventh-round pick from 2022, which makes sense, uh, as well as Johnny Munt. That's Johnny Munt's music. So Munt uh, is back in the fold. Uh, Pelissero reporting it's a one-year deal worth $2.5 million. Now, what's interesting is that the league minimum, uh, which Munt had played on the last two years of Vikings, 2022-2023, uh, a league minimum for a player with six years of service, like Johnny Munt, is $1.125 million. So the two and a half is uh, twice that and, and some change. So I think it speaks to... Uh, how they see the value of him to the team, uh, even though he's a tight end three, tight end four, uh, as well as his role to start the season uh, when, if and when Hawkinson is up on block. So here's Johnny. Uh, let's talk about month today. Background, 29 years young, 6'4", 233, uh, was a 2017 UDFA out of Oregon. Fuck. Ooh. 6.68 uh, 6 RAS, 47440. Uh, vertical jump. 30 inches. So I, I love how, you know, these these premier athletes, 6'4", 233, and we're just sitting here, at, hey, his 30-inch vertical sucks. <laughs> That's all, man. But I uh, spent four years with the Rams. Kevin O'Connell, Wes Phillips uh, had all that crossover, won a Super Bowl as a reserve blocking tight end. Uh, was one of the first signings uh, when Kevin O'Connell came over from the Rams in 2022. And he's been a, a solid, you know, tight end, uh, you know, backup tight end, tight end three type guy. Uh, su help supplement when Irv Smith was dinged up uh, in 2022. Uh, filled in for Hawkinson when Hawkinson went down with his knee injury in 2023. And uh, it, it, we, we pointed this out before, where when, once Hawkinson went down, it wasn't Josh Oliver, who is clearly tight end two, stepping up into that receiving tight end role. It was Johnny Munt uh, in two-minute drill, in passing situations. Because I think Josh Oliver's role is clearly defined as the blocker, uh, as well as like a six offensive lineman. So uh, I think that's how they see Munt, and I think that's how Johnny Munt was able to finesse a, a little bit of a raise versus just playing on the league minimum again this year. Again, it speaks to how highly Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips I think of Johnny Munt. Uh, he's great in the locker room, great in the tight end room as well. Plus, he may have to be, you know, with Nick Muse and maybe some uh, day three tight end spiciness, uh, be the supplement for when Hawkinson is out, uh, potentially for the first uh, quarter or half of the season. But Munt did fill in nicely uh, for Hawkinson towards the end of last year. 17 catches for a buck 72 and a touchdown. Uh, had uh, eight, eight first downs, 17 total over the last two years as a Viking. So uh, does this uh, is this a signing that moves the needle? No, absolutely not. But in terms of a value signing for a guy that is the mortar that holds bricks together on this team is part of a great foundation, plays some good special teams, yes, uh, I think he absolutely is. Plus, I mean, don't don't be shocked if Johnny Munt is your leading target share uh, guy for tight end for the first you know four to six games of the season 2024 uh, as Hawkinson works his way back in. So I think that's why uh, he was able to get a little bit of a bump in the pay rise, and that's why I'm glad that the Vikings keep him in the fold now. I'm still not I'm still not uh, out on Theo Johnson or Eric All on day three, uh, but we'll we'll see we'll see what happens, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings have re-signed. Here's Johnny Munt. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.